YouTube family. It's your boy Cool Guy Case, and I'm back with another video. Today we have another unboxing and a review on the way. I have not decided yet if we are going to have it on foot for this. Uh, this is going to be my very first time seeing this shoe in hand, so I'm going to need to see it first, and I will decide. So I will update y'all on that shortly. But of course, there's going to be some B-roll, some fire B-roll at that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you for tuning in. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. If you ain't seen my last video, make sure you go check that out and smash that like button. Uh, but of course, actually, I'm going to leave that up below. But anyways, we're about to get into this review right here. Like I was saying, though, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. I believe we like eight away. We're a couple away. We done lost a couple, but we about to gain some more. So I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notifications when I drop videos. So just show love to your boy. You show love to me, I'm showing the love right back to you. But yeah, I appreciate you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get into the review and I'll box. Let's get it, let's get it. Like I, like I was telling y'all, I don't know if I want to keep these or if I want them for trade bait, I have no idea. I'm still debating, I'm still thinking about it. Let me go ahead and move the exacto before I mess around and drop this one. All right. Okay, we got something different, something a little different. We have a black and yellow Jordan 1 box, as you can see. This is the typical Jordan 1 box right here with the black box with the red writing on it. This one you get the black box with the yellow writing on it. So it's a little different. Y'all know I like to you know, go over the boxes a little bit. Let me see. I copped a couple of new Jordan 1s over the summertime. I ain't had time to do reviews on these or anything, but I did cop these over the summer. Size nine and a half. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet. I'm gonna lace them up. I, the right occasion hasn't came across me, so y'all let me know what y'all think about these down below. But like I said, I've been copping kicks all summer, and this is just, you know, a prime example of what I've been getting into. If y'all need some sneakers, though, y'all let me know. Tap in with my socials. Let's get back to the review. All right. So like I was saying, though, this box is fairly different. I'm definitely digging the yellow. I like yellow, as you can see. It's, it's it definitely a dope color. But let me not waste y'all time no more. Let's get into the size and label. We have your Air Jordan 1 Retro High OGs, colorway breeze, pollen, white and black. Style ID or SKU, whichever you would like to call it. We have 555088701. This is a personal pair size nine and a half, like I said. Retailed at 170. I hit these on the sneakers app for, you know, a very rare or every once in a while W that I get. You know, they, they like to keep you in. They like to reel you in every once in a while. You hit on stuff that you don't even know if you want, but you don't hit on the stuff you really want. It's nothing new with the sneakers app. But let's go ahead and get into the review. We have your typical white trash bag paper that nobody in this world cares about. Put that out of the way. All right, let's get into the sneaker. So like I said, I don't know if I want to keep these. I needed to see the quality on them, just really see what they're working with. I think it's the midsole for me that's throwing me off. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I'm not really digging this white midsole. Maybe it'll change things if I throw in the white laces. But like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping these yet. Let's do the review and I'm going to decide along the way and let y'all know. So we have your outsole, your typical Jordan 1 outsole with the Nike on the bottom. This is in yellow. You have your white midsole, as I was previously saying. Nothing new. Midsole looks clean. I don't see any defects on these, thankfully. Um, I don't have to look at the other pair, of course, but these look pretty good. Quality control is pretty, pretty decent on these. Let's get into the insole. We have your black insole with the yellow Nike Air on the inside. These do come with yellow laces. This is what they come with. And then you get black and white replacement laces. Like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping these, but I do feel like if you play around with these laces a little bit, you can probably get some nice combinations and, you know, make this white look, you know, more decent than it does right now. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about that down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the midsole. Even just looking at them right now, I'm not really digging them. I might keep these for trade bait, or I might just hold them and decide that I want to wear them later on. Like I said, you never know. I throw these on with this hoodie right here, and I'm good to go. But let's continue the review. We have the Nike Air on the tongue in yellow with the white Nike Air black logo, black Nike swoosh. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't know about these. The quality looks pretty good. You have your Air Jordan wing. Oh, it's not. You got your Air Jordan wing on the side in black. The quality looks good. Like I said, leather is decent. Not really tumbled though. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at my other drawer ones, but these feeling real tough right here in the back. Real, real stiff. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Uh, the toe box. Oh my gosh. This leather is actually great on the toe box. It's very, very tumbled. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't know, man. That toe box making me, making me double, double, take a double take, man. I don't know. These are pretty clean. I can't even lie to you. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them. Like I said, I am going to have some Bebo thrown in here in a few minutes or a few seconds at that. Um, overall, though, this is a pretty dope shoe. If I were to give it a rating, I'd probably go with 6 or 7 out of 10. Definitely not my favorite Jordan 1, nor would this be one of my favorites if I added it to the collection. This would probably be something that I just wear, you know what I'm saying, here and there, every once in a while. Give me a Steelers jersey, you know what I'm saying, and go crazy. But these pretty decent though, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. I have officially decided there will be, let me think. Yeah, there's not going to be an on foot for these. I am not going to be keeping these more than likely. Uh, but it was nice to hit on sneakers and to bring a review to the channel. So I hope y'all did enjoy that. I'm going to hit y'all with the B-roll and then hop back on the camera. I'm going to hit y'all with the B-roll in three, two, about to make a mistake. One. y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video y'all let me know what y'all think about the b-roll y'all let me know what y'all think about these jordan ones just in general like i said i'm not really feeling them for personal pairs y'all let me know what y'all think i hope i hit on the lightning fours if i hit on lightning fours these definitely out of here but again i hope y'all enjoyed the review y'all let me know what y'all think down below y'all let me know what y'all want to see on the channel i can bring any content that y'all want to see some reviews to sneaker channels some reviews to old sneaker videos sneaker vines whatever y'all want to see sneaker tiktoks it don't even matter I'm ready to run these numbers up. I'm ready to keep pushing this YouTube stuff. So again, I appreciate you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. If you're new, like I said, smash that subscribe button. Drop a like for your boy. Help me get back into this algorithm. It's been a hot minute. It's been three months since I dropped. So again, I hope you enjoy. Much love to you. Keep showing love to the channel. You already know what time it is. Much love and peace.